Jayu, it was an incredible final to watch. Just go through some of the emotions you were feeling after the first, second and then the third runs. Well, uh, today is just an amazing day to me. And then also I think it's a big honour presented by China to win the first silver medal in the Olympics. It just, oh my God, you know. <laughs> and then all my third runs, I just feel like, you know, I'm enjoying it. And then I just, just do it. <laughs> You talk about uh, being the first medalist for China in this sport. It's been a long road, hasn't it? Take yeah. us through that road. Well, I mean, uh, China started this sport in 2003, and then it's been here. I think this is my third Olympics, and I've been wanting this medal for a long time, and then been working on that. And also, you know, snowboard is all about the fun and fashion, how cool you are, and then when the sorrow just make me even cooler. <laughs> So, talk us through your first Olympic Games back in uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. What happened there? What then happened in 2014? And how this was different? Um, I mean, 2010, uh, Vancouver, I dislocated my shoulder that time and I only got fourth place. Um, only fourth place? Only fourth place. <laughs> and it is my first time in the Olympics. And then, you know, I just take that and then working harder and then snowboard, um, like, really wanted to put my run in 2014 and 2014 unfortunately on my another shoulder is dislocated it's just a right lot you know and I think this one is the time because Korea is so lucky for me and I've been here and then when I got the podium every time I won the first world championships in Korea for China and then now it's another you know Olympics <laughs> medal oh my god have you allowed yourself to give any thought to the next Olympic Games, which will be in Beijing? Well, I was thinking about that, but I don't know yet because, you know, snowboard is snowboard. I'm going to continue snowboard when maybe I'm die or, you know, 100 years old <laughs> later. But, I mean, we see, you know, how the condition and everything. I would love to present by my country is doing again, especially in China, 2022. And I think this one is really big things for China. For Chinese people, you know, we have, like, this is our sport too. We can snowboard. Yeah. And, and do you think it's the sort of sport that really appeals to Chinese youth? You winning a silver medal now, an Olympic medalist, you're a world champion, as you say. Is that going to inspire a whole new generation? Yeah, I think uh, you're going to improve, like, like a push a lot for our country, the snowboard, you know, just grab even more. We already have like a huge people doing the sport and then everybody thinks snowboard is super cool and then fashion and all the stuff. So I would love, that's my goal, you know, win the medal is not my goal, but I, I would love to show the people, you know, how fun is the sport. Just go out there and try it on. You will like it, you will like it. Tell us about the, the friendship that you have with the Americans on tour, with everybody on tour, because it's a real lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, snowboard is uh, different than red sport, you know, it's not just about the medal. I think it's more about, you know, the culture, you know, how's the snowboard, how fine is it. We just improve each other and then, you know, make each other even better and then show the, the you know, the people, you know, people watching the shows that were, you know, friends, families, how good we are. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much.